I'm here with Mark and we're going to talk about these amazing parts. But first, what went through your head when the drawing for this came through the door? So, yes, it, we thought it was going to be a bit of a headache for us because we are a predominant in aluminium machining company. But we thought we'd get our heads around it and we got Nev involved to try and help us out with the tooling on it. Now, just before we go down the tooling route, what material is this made from and um, what sort of billets are you making it out of? So it's stainless steel 303 and on the two size ports that we've got here, uh, this one's a six inch billet which is for the larger six inlet we do and then we do a four and a half inch billet for the smaller four inlet we do. So going back to Sarah Tizit, what was it like when you, when you were thinking that you've got to go from aluminium to stainless because let's be honest, stainless is not the nicest material to cut. It's not, it's not. Um, but when we got Nev involved, it's quite a few new tools they brought to the range. There's the new Cub Pentry U drill we used, which gives chip breaking and they managed to hog us most of the material out of the park. Uh, and then we used a lot of his high feed tool in to then get the rest of the material out before we then put the finishing tool paths on it. Now, obviously, when Nev came in, did he sort of bring in tools you wouldn't have thought to have used? There was a few on there. So we had some back ends with the screwing extensions with tools that we hadn't really used before and that was for both button inserts, 90 degree approach and high feed type tooling. So yeah, stuff we hadn't used much of before. Now, as you can see, these parts look amazing. And I think one of the things we've got to say here is, inside they are, that's quite a depth to get into to get such a nice finish as well. So how, how did you manage to get that in one go? So. We use, uh, again, Ceratizit and WNT tool holders, the mini um, heat shrinks that enable us to get small tools right down into the bottom of the part. Looking at it, it looks quite awkward to machine. So how are you actually machining this with like your work holding? So the work holding, again, we use the WNT ZSG four vices. We pre-op the billet to rough the core of the holes into it. Um, we then machine a little upstand on the bottom side, which is obviously no longer on there. We then machine underneath, uh, and then the part is snapped off after two operations complete. So that's nice. So you're even tabbing these off? Yeah, we tab them off and then uh, rub them in on the back, which is where they get welded when they're going to the cars. So you've got such a nice finish on these. What sort of tooling are you used to finish these? So the finishing, again, we use uh, WNT or Ceratis tooling. We use six and 10 mil ball noses to do 90% of the finishing. We have to go down to three mils to do some of the inside areas. So I'm guessing that's to get inside? Yeah, down inside the cavity and down inside in the long reach holders we use. See that just, to get in there is, also, is, is a problem in itself. It but can be, yeah. To also have to get a three mil ball nose right in there. Yeah, it can cause problems. So that your tool holding must be absolutely spot on to not get breakages. Agreed, agreed, yeah. So Nev obviously helped us a lot with that, gave us a few different tools to trial until we found the one that fit the job right. So did Sarah Tizit give you the whole package to machine this from start to finish? Were they with you every step of the way? They were indeed, from the development start, part of it, right the way through till it was into production. Now, I just want to jump back, because you, you talked about boot stock, and I, I love that, I love that name for, for trial cutters, but did that give you the confidence to run these uh, cutters and, and drills harder and faster? Because obviously it's not on your dime. So if it breaks, it, 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 it's nothing for you really. Correct, yeah. So obviously some of the speeds and feeds you're sometimes a bit surprised at. So yeah, having that peace of mind certainly, certainly made it a bit easier for us, put it that way.